Hi, this is Christophe Impecciati for Bistech and welcome to this short video in which we are going to discuss how to import data in a TM1 cube using Turbo Integrator. For this, we are going to need three things. First of all, an input file that matches the cube structure. Secondly, obviously a target cube. And lastly, a Turbo Integrator process that performs the load. Before you can load data in a TM1 cube, you need to prepare the right input file. When I say the right input file, it's a file that matches your cube structure. In our case here, we have a four dimension cube at the bottom of the screen. And the file we have at the top of the screen is the file we are going to use to load the cube. This file has the matching information for the cube we want to load. Column A will be used to match the information to dimension 1. Column B will be matched against dimension 2. Column C will be matched against dimension 3. And column D will be used to match the information against the measure items. The last column E is just the column containing the data we want to load in the cube. So let's go now to TM1 and Server Explorer to see how it's all done. The cube I want to load is the purchases cube. And if I open it, you can see the cube has four dimensions, like I mentioned before. The markets, the fish types, the time, and the measure, which has two items in it. I'm going to close the cube. And to load the cube, I need to create a new Turbo Integrator process. So to do so, I right-click Processes, and I select Create a new process. In the TI process, it's quite simple. You just have to follow the tabs one by one from left to right. The first one is data source. I have to specify which data source I am going to read from. And in this exercise, I'm working with a CSV file, so I select text. I click the browse button and I select my file purchase.csv. I click open and you have a preview button to see the first few records of your file. If your data source has a first record containing column titles, like mine in this scenario, you can use this box here to specify a 1 and click the preview button again to name your columns using that first record. Now I can move on to the next tab, the variables. In here I need to make sure I have a meaningful name for my variables. The name I see for the moment on the left hand side is the default, is the column names from the previous screen only one didn't come through properly. We had a column called date and date is a keyword in TM1 so I have to rename it myself. After I've done that I go on the right hand side of the screen and I work with the contents. For each column of the file I want to associate with a dimension in my cube I need to specify element. So I do that for fish type, I do that for the market, I do that for the date and I do it also for the measure. The last column of my file is the data, it's the figures I want to load in my cube and because it's a number, as you can see in the sample value column here, I want to make sure I turn the variable type to numeric. Moving on, I go to the next tab, Maps. Under Maps I have two tabs, Cube and Dimensions. Under the Cube tab, I need to say what am I going to do at the cube level. So I want to load data in my cube, so I select Update Cube, and using the drop-down list, I select the cube I want to load. In my case, Purchases. The section under Data Action is very important. If I select Store Values, I'm going to replace the values in my cube. If I select Accumulate Values, I would add on top of existing values. The next tab is the Dimensions. In here I can see my element variables from my file and I have to work with that column here, dimensions, where I can see the dimensions from the cube I just selected. And I just have to match the two, the element variable to the dimension in the cube. So fish type would be associated with the dimension fish types, market with the dimension called markets, vdate with the time dimension in my cube called ymd, and the measure column in my file with the measure in the cube. The very last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go in the advanced tab and I'm going to click all these little tabs one by one and all of them and by doing so I generate the scripts that are going to perform the data load in my cube.
in the future if you were to change that job you know if you were to come back and modify that uh, TI process for any reason you would have to come back to the advanced section and re-click all these tabs to take your modifications in account the last tab you see here schedule is obviously if you want to schedule this job to run on a regular basis you can use uh, the schedule tab now I've done all this I'm just gonna click the save button and give it a smart name a good name would be load the name of the cube purchases from a CSV file like so I'm just gonna click OK and click the triangle here at the on the menu bar to run the job it ran successfully so I can close the job minimize all this minimize all the processes and double click on my purchases cube to show you that the data has been loaded in the cube thank you very much for your attention this was Christophe Impicciati for Bistec I hope this short video was very useful for you and please don't hesitate to give us a call if you have any questions or if you need any assistance thank you very much